I wanted to show you a little bit about the multi-screen preview that's available in Dreamweaver CS5 now. If you have a page open and you want to test it on different devices, you can click on multi-screen button up here and you'll see that we get the multi-screen preview panel. Now this shows you what it's going to look like in a phone, in a tablet, and on the desktop. Now these are sizes, some of these are pretty standard sizes, but if you guys wanted to test it on a different device or something like that, you could always come up here to viewport sizes, click on that, and then change the sizes you see. I'm going to click cancel. Now, this is a very cool way to be able to see your pitch, see exactly what people are going to see on you know, different things. Now, what's really cool about this, too, is we can actually add the CSS3 media queries to our page. So it's, it's only going to work in browsers that support this stuff, uh, which are newer browsers. But eventually what's going to happen here is if I click on media queries, the button right up here, it's going to make it so that depending on the target screen size or the actual device we're going to put it on, based on min width and max width, we can tell what CSS file to use. This is really cool. You can say don't target this screen, which means don't have a specific style sheet for it, or create a new CSS file in a folder. Now if I click on that, or select that rather, and then click on the folder over here, it's going to say, all right, well, where do you want to put a CSS folder? Click select. Now if you guys have a, a style sheet created for, let's say, a phone and a tablet, you could link to that right here, but I don't. So what it's going to do is it's going to create a style sheet for me that I have to then figure out. CSS and folder, click on the folder icon, CSS, click select, there we go. And for the large desktop, it's going to say, okay, we need to use an existing CSS file, and I'm going to tell it which file to use here. So I'll go into my CSS file, my folder rather, and grab my main, there we go, click OK, and there it is. Now you see right here, it's actually telling me pretty much what I just told you guys. You're going to see that it's going to only work in browsers that support the CSS3 media queries. And this isn't the typical, you know, media property you'll put into this, the uh, CSS styles link up in the header, but, you know, it's a little different. So I'll click OK. Now, if you take a look over here, it's going to kind of show you different views over here because it's linking now to different style sheets depending on the device. And the style sheets are blank. I didn't have any styling. So you'll actually see, though, that it's, in this case, it's fitting because there's no CSS on it. Now, if I close up the multi-screen preview here, and I take a look out here, you'll be able to see that we now have the phone CSS and the tablet CSS. You'll also see them over here in the CSS Styles panel. Now, if I click on the code view and just scroll all the way up, I'll see right here, this is what it's talking about with the CSS3 media. Right here, we can see it's only screen and min width, max width. That's what it's putting in there. Now, what did it do as far as our styling? Well, let me take a look at my files panel over here. You guys will see I've got tons of crap in here. Let me wade through all this stuff. I'll see that it actually created a tablet CSS file and a phone CSS file. Now, if I open those up either here and the related files are up there, you'll see it's completely blank. That's because I've got to go in and kind of add my styling. But anyway, this multi-screen preview is a way for us to start thinking about taking this, this content, this page, and porting it to different devices, using different style sheets, and using the CSS3 media component.